under a $2,000 fine. We are going to do probable cause. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can or will be used against you. You have the right to have an attorney present. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you, sir. Yes, Judge. Okay. Officers initiated a traffic stop in Harris County, Texas for a vehicle having a fictitious plate bearing the word traveler on it. During the stop, the defendant refused <laughs> to provide identification or insurance information, stating, I do not consent to any of this. Officers attempted to remove the defendant from the vehicle, and the defendant actively resisted until he was detained. That's very conclusory. Actively, what did you say? Actively resisted. Okay, I need more than that. Give me more, Alex. So I reviewed the body cam this morning um, from the officer who initiated the traffic stop. Um, the defendant- No, 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 but you can't do that. No, no, it has to be in the report. In the den, he has to say more than just a conclusion statement about what happened. In the dims, it states that the officer attempted to pull the defendant out of the, of the, out of the vehicle with him actively resisting and pulling away from the officer and other deputies. And the- No drugs, no alcohol, I don't know. All I want you to do is get insurance. So if you can do that, I'll allow you to drive. So the only condition now is just don't drive until you get insurance. Once you get insurance, show it to me. I'll take your no driving restriction off and then do whatever you want. You need a lawyer to represent you. Though. So what are you doing these days? Right now. Do you work? No? Okay, why not? What were you doing? Truck driving. It's a great job. Don't you make a ton of money truck driving? Why would you, why would you quit? You make it make money from my check. Oh, I see. Child support? No. What? They said they overpaid me. And they never, you know, they was taking $170 out of my check for no reason. They never some, gave me anything to sign. Isn't there a place that you can go to dispute that? I have no clue. You tell me. Hmm? You tell me. HR. You know? Go go to HR, go, hey man. This is why my check should be what it is. You think you, you know, if they rightfully underpaid you, then they should, you know, give you what you rightfully owed. If they did overpay you, that's like equally not fair though, right? So what's good for the goose, good for the gander, you know? So if you quit just in spite. I was, I was really put to a hair two weeks notice in. I was gonna quit before. Okay. Well, I want to another so job. you need someone to represent you, right? Uh, we'll give you time to, for you to get a lawyer. Um, we'll give you a month, but when you come back, you need a lawyer to represent you, okay? Um, so, Mr. Daly, what, now I'm gonna have you just sign this promise to us that you're not gonna drive until you get liability insurance. So get it, bring it back to me, show me that you have insurance with your name on it, and then I'll take this off. I get to stay. You come back to me today. If you to get it within the next hour and a half, show it to me, I'll take it off now. We get plenty of people that I put this restriction off and then the, within the next hour and a half, they call some insurance company, they're able to get the policy, we are able to verify it and then I take the restriction off. I'm just asking you to follow the law, that's it. Not anything crazy. Judge, is that state's bond position? No, I'm just gonna have him sign this affidavit here. That's it. Okay, I will have you sign this. Promised us, we'll have you sign a reset with the Victoria and then we'll let you out. And then you're good to go. Just whenever you're ready to come back, come back. Good luck, Mr. David. Thank you. Thank you.